during that long string of losing seasons, you know, there would be this optimism in the preseason and in the early season, but then there'd be one soul-crushing loss, and then would be like, ah, here we go again. And that's kind of what 97 felt like early in the season, too. Mizzou opened the year with a 20-point win over Eastern Michigan. Devin West scored two touchdowns, so did Brock Olivo. Corby Jones had a 30-yard score. But the next week at Kansas, the Tiger offense sputtered. They lost to that same Jayhawk team they dominated the year before by a score of 15 to seven, and that old ominous feeling started creeping in. A road win the next week at Tulsa made the Tigers two and one on the season as Corby Jones returned to his old form. He's gonna go down the right sideline for a Missouri touchdown, and he runs it in from 52 yards out. But the next week back at home, in front of the largest crowd that Faroe Field had seen in a dozen years, the Tigers could only stick with seventh ranked Ohio State for one half as the Buckeyes won by three touchdowns. A victory the next week over Iowa State set the tone for Mizzou's offense. This team was gonna run the football for sure. The Tigers trampled their way to 288 rushing yards and four rushing touchdowns against the Cyclones. But they could also balance through the air with weapons like Eddie Brooks, Torrey Coleman, and Kent Lehman. Jones, option play to the right side, now pulls back the pass, looking over the middle, rainbows, Lehman wide open, he makes the grab at the 22, breaks the tackle, touchdown Missouri! But a 45-21 win over Iowa State was followed by a lopsided loss at Kansas State. Mizzou was 3-3. Three and three. It was one step forward, one step back. What changed that season was the K-State game. After that game, um, I think Brock called a, called a senior meeting and then we had a team meeting and said, this isn't, we're not gonna do it like this. We were on the brink and then knew we were close and decided to try to go play with more confidence. 